Hi everybody, uh, we thought we'd put a little uh, video together because Penelope had a question. What is the coronavirus? This is the coronavirus. Okay, so it's a little virus. A virus is a type of germ. Okay, and as you can see, it's round and it's got these red spikes on the outside. And we'll talk about what they are in a minute. Okay, so they're a germ um, and the coronavirus um, basically help, makes it really hard for us to breathe. Why is that bad? Okay, so you got a picture of the lungs, right? Okay, so, so here's the lungs, and this is how we breathe. So air comes down in here, and it goes into our lungs, like that, all right? And if we don't get enough air into our lungs, enough oxygen into our lungs, um, it can make it really bad for us to, um, to sort of like get energy and, and stuff like that. Okay. How does it attack the lungs? Right, okay, it's a really good question. So, again, picture of the lungs, okay? It actually starts up in here, in the windpipe, okay, which is this part here, okay? So that's where it first starts. And if we look, um, the cells, so the, the bit on the outside of our windpipe looks a little bit like that, okay? And we've got, so all of it here are our cells, okay? And we've got this green stuff. Now, what do you think that might be? I don't know. Okay, I'll tell you what it is. It's mucus, and that's the same stuff as your bogeys. Yuck. Yeah, I know, yuck. But it's really, really useful because what it does is all this mucus and bogeys and this mucus that's down in, inside your throat is it traps dirt and viruses and things from getting in there. But, unfortunately for us, the coronavirus, this thing here. Me. Yeah, that attacks those cells, okay? Exactly. So what the virus does is it comes in and it gets inside the cell here and it makes lots and lots of copies of itself. And then it damages the cell, the cell breaks and it spreads thousands of new viruses out and they attack other cells. So that's how, that's, that's how, that's how that happens, okay? Um, and so... Um, now, the way that that gets in is that when people who have got the virus sneeze and cough and um, touch themselves and touch surfaces, they spread the virus like that. And so when you come along and you touch surfaces and you rub your eyes or pick your nose or eat something, you get the viruses in there and, that, and that's how it gets in. Okay, So it starts in the throat. Okay, It starts in the throat and, it's, and it slowly works its way down into your lungs okay and those spikes that we saw on the outside of the virus yeah those red spikes that's what it uses to attach itself and get into the cells in your throat okay so and it starts to move down into your lungs and into your lungs and that's why it gets more difficult to breathe okay um so the the longer it's in there and the lower it gets the the, the more difficult it is for you to breathe okay so yeah. Um, oh, and as it does that, these cells, the, the, the term we use is inflamed. What does inflamed mean? So inflamed is when it gets really red and it gets really sore. Um, and essentially, um, the cells are being injured. Like, you know how if you hurt yourself when you're playing sports or if you fall over, you injure yourselves. Now, when viruses attack cells, they become injured. Okay, and so they get really red and they get really rough um, and sore. So, um, and they start getting really irritated. So when we look at our cells here that have been infected, the ones that are all red and sore and irritated, even a little speck of dust is going to, to make them tickly. So what do you think happens if we get like really tickly throats? What, what do you do? Cough. You cough. Now, if you cough lots and lots and lots, what do you think that does to your cells? Scratch? Yeah, exactly. It just hurts them more. It, it makes them even worse. Okay? So, um, so that is essentially um, how the coronavirus gets in. Why does it make you feel sick? Okay, good question. So, when we get a viral infection, the body does two, th Sorry, there's two things going on. 
Sorry about that. Yeah. So when we get a viral infection, there are two things that happen. The first is um, that um, the cells are themselves that the virus are attacking are, are being damaged and they're being hurt. Okay, now if it gets into your lungs, all right, and you get your lung cells being damaged and hurt, what do you think that means for the amount of oxygen that we can get into our body? You don't have enough oxygen. Exactly, you don't have enough oxygen. And do you know what oxygen is used for in the body? Energy? Yes, exactly. So the oxygen that we breathe and the food that we eat combine and it releases energy. So we get energy to talk and move and just live and do all that sort of stuff, okay? But if we don't have enough oxygen, we're going to have less... Energy. Exactly, okay? So... That's the first thing that happens. The cells in our lungs get damaged, less oxygen into our body, okay? The second thing that happens is our body itself is trying to fight the virus. And what are some things that happen to you or what do we, mummy and I, do um, check when you get sick? What's the first thing that we check? Temperature. Exactly. Now, the virus doesn't actually cause you to get hot. Your body gets hot to try and get rid of the virus. It tries to kill off the virus by making you hot. And how does that make you feel when you get hot? Drowsy. Yeah, really drowsy. And what what, what other sorts of things can you, like, if you get a cold or the flu, do you feel when you get sick? Dizzy. Yeah. Of, like, unsteady. Yeah, exactly. It's all, it's all related. And what about your muscles? Can you remember? What happens to your muscles sometimes? They get all achy. Yeah. Why do your muscles ache when you catch the coronavirus? Okay, so like all viruses, um, there's a lot of inflammation. So what it is, is that you've got these loads of inflammation going on inside your body, and that's what the aching is. It's just it's just it's it's just an inflammation. Okay. So um, so lots of things going on inside your body. You've got a temperature. You've got these chemicals being released by your immune system to try and get rid of the virus and stop it attacking your cells. You've got lots of inflammation going on everywhere. Um, so, um, so that is why we feel bad. But what is the worst? What what's the big thing that people are talking about with the coronavirus? What what is it hard to do? Breathe. Exactly. What do your lungs look like when they are infected? Okay. Yeah. Good question. Okay. So um, this here. We've got two healthy lungs here. Can you imagine your, your lungs are like balloons? Okay. So as, as you can imagine, there's lots of air inside your lungs and all across there is where the, the oxygen gets into your body. Now, with people who get the coronavirus, okay, if it gets really bad, their lungs look like this. Now, what's inside of our lungs this time? Water and liquid. Yeah, so it's got liquid. It's got, it's got, it's got liquid. It's got fluid in there. Okay, so people who get who's where the virus goes really deep into the lungs, like down in here, right down into the deep part of the lungs. Essentially, the what happens is you get lots of fluid building up inside the lungs, like this. Now, if you've got lots of fluid in the lungs, what do you think that means for your ability to breathe? He don't have enough room for air. Yeah, exactly. So if you've got less air, what does that mean less of? Energy. Exactly. Less air means less oxygen, which means less energy. Okay. So that's exactly it. So our, our coronavirus lungs here, filled with fluid, can't breathe properly, massive infection. So your body's trying to fight off this infection and get rid of the virus. At the same time, you've got less, less oxygen going in, so you're feeling really really sick and, and unwell so does that answer your question about what the coronavirus is yes it does all right excellent thank you very much